Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. You're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell's going on? Why is it dark? So literally a few hours ago, it started raining really hard and it started thundering and lightning. I'm like, eh, whatever, it's thunderstorm, whatever. Lightning strike right next to my house. My power goes out. It's been out for over an hour. Shit. So I'm recording with my webcam and I'm going to be watching the videos off my phone that are dropping at D23. And the first one has dropped. I don't know if anything else is going to drop, but I'm going to be checking it out now. I won't be able to upload this till later, but whatever. Star Wars The Last Jedi behind the scenes has been released, and I'm excited to watch this. I, I, I'm really curious to see what they're going to show us here. Probably not a lot, but probably enough for us to just get more hyped for when the eventual next trailer drops. So without further ado, let's get into it now. I'm going to click play here, and then we're going to start it up and see what this shows, okay? Three, two, one. Everybody set. Episode 8. Mm -hmm. Gosh. The first film didn't even have a number. Whoa. The hell? Yeah. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my gosh. Even though I think I know it all, they throw things at me story-wise I never could have imagined. And even though everybody knows that it's the second in a trilogy, it feels like its own thing. Whoa. Go. Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures. Oh, well, that's cool. And all these amazing visual effects. Don't worry. Cool. But the characters are also so Oh! Why Lisa welcomes Wookiee Sounds? Ridiculous. The new director kind of just learned Wookiee Sounds. That's pretty badass. It feels like the storylines are becoming more established. We're really getting to know these new characters. Also, with the characters that we know and love. Love them. Change. Yeah, okay. I think. Everything's being shifted in the opposite way to what the audience expected after seven. Yeah, so Del Toro. It's, it's on. It's fresh and new. <laughs> Man, these creatures. Family, and that's what's so powerful about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was pretty awesome. Um, a lot of cool stuff. The one thing I took away from this is that. A lot of creatures, a lot of creature designs, like a lot of them that was like, that seems new. Um, I like that it went to like really cool shots, like really fast. It's really look at one point like Luke was wearing something different than what we've seen him in, in the end of Force Awakens and the Last Jedi stuff. So that's interesting. Um, seeing, seeing, um, I forget his name. Oh my God. Um, Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren training. You see that there was one point where I, I didn't say it, but for a split second, Ryan Johnson's looking at something towards the beginning of it, and it's like a tall figure. And I'm thinking, is that um, is that Snoke? I don't know. Um, creatures, 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 and I think it was a nice touch to have um, have Carrie Fisher have the final word in it. And uh, Laura Dern, her character with the purple hair or something like that. It's very interesting about that. I'm curious to know what um, her involvement is. What is she going to be doing? Um, 
I was following along Christian Harloff, who was tweeting the panel, and I'm going to read some of the tweets that he was sending out as well about this, about some of the stuff he was seeing. Um, yeah, Laura Dern, who we're talking about, in the fog with a blaster. Interesting. Um, cool shots of Daisy and Chewie and the Falcon, which is cool. Uh, no, 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 no. Talking about all the cast that are there. Um, and yeah, okay, so. But it's interesting that they showed a lot of the creatures, which kind of tells me that Ryan Johnson wants to go that direction of making it feel like Star Wars to where there are a bunch of alien creatures that are just constantly around. And that could be seen as good or bad, but the way George Lucas kind of set it up in the original trilogy is that there are just, it seems like thousands, millions upon millions, whatever, of different aliens and creatures that are out there that we just don't know about. And the fact that he's just introducing a ton of them, that's pretty interesting to go that direction. I mean, uh, J.J. did a couple of that uh, a bit in The Force Awakens, but it seems like Ryan's going heavily on that side of it. Um, and I'm excited to see uh, what what's next. What's the next trailer going to hold? I think the next trailer is probably going to hopefully focus a little bit more on story. I'm not really sure because The Force Awakens was so secretive. Like, they barely released anything, really, uh, in terms of, like, big plot points about the film before it was released. So I'm wondering if that's the same direction they're going to go here because they also, with The Force Awakens, they also released a behind-the-scenes footage. So I'm curious to know what's the next step, what's the next thing they're going to do, what they're going to give us. So who knows. Um, but yes, it was awesome. I enjoyed that video. Can't wait to see what's next, and uh, I'm curious to know what you guys thought. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Don't know when you're going to see this. It's still thundering. <laughs> I don't know when you're going to see this, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. It's um, obviously not what I was wanting, but it is what it is. So there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.